Happy New Year and welcome to Our Issues Milwaukee. I'm your host, Andrea Williams. The author, Victor Hugo, once said, laughter is the sun that drives winter from the human face. And what better way to kick off the new year than with a smile on your face? The Harry and Rose Sampson Family Jewish Community Center has planned their fourth annual Laugh It Up Milwaukee event. And here to tell us all about it is the president and CEO of the JCC, Mr. Mark Shapiro. How are you? Good, good morning. It's always a pleasure to see you. Thanks for having me and back. It was around this time last year that mm -hmm. we were talking about this outstanding event, Laugh It Up Milwaukee. So if you could, uh, tell us the details. Well, we're really excited this year to uh, partner for our fourth year uh, with the Bayshore Community Foundation, who was really part of coming up with this crazy idea a couple mm -hmm. of years ago, that what we're trying to do is partner to build a healthier Milwaukee. Okay. You know, we've just finished uh, turning over to the new year. People have been asked for money in so many different ways. And there are so many wonderful organizations out there doing great things. And the idea was, how do we actually use that power of all the different institutions together? And then we thought laughter would be a great way to do it. So we are excited to announce that Friday, January, or Saturday, January 31st, at the Riverside Theater, we are welcoming Howie Mandel in for a great night of laughter. And our beneficiary this year is the Hunger Task Force. So we are really excited because they are already great partners with us. Uh huh. And I find it interesting when you say uh, that it's at the Riverside Theater because I've talked to you about mm -hmm. this uh, probably the last three years. Right. And every year it just continues to grow where you have to get a bigger venue and that obviously is great news. Yeah, we started at the JCC not really knowing if this idea was going to really connect with people. Mm -hmm. Last year we were at the Pabst and the amazing people at the Pabst and Riverside really came to us and said, you know, we are really behind this idea. Let's move it up and, and let's Let's, you know, let's fill up a, a venue with 2,000 seats. Um, I think really recognizing this plague that's in our community, this, this, uh, this affliction of hunger, the idea that children are going to bed hungry or parents are skipping meals uh, to be able to feed their children, we have to come up with solutions. Mm -hmm. And by partnering with Hunger Task Force, and many people don't know the Jewish Community Center for, the, for more than 35 years has been running a food pantry. Uh, we were just excited to find out that we are the second largest provider of food in the Hunger Task Force uh, emergency pantry network. Wow. And uh, we're now open six days a month serving as many as 300 families a week in being able to work with Hunger Task Force and other institutions in trying to solve this problem. Yeah, and you quite made it quite clear that uh, you're a partner in serving the community mm -hmm. and it's important for you to partner with other organizations to help make a difference. So uh, with your Laugh It Up event uh, this year, as you've stated, Hunger Task Force will benefit, but in the past you have teamed up with some awesome organizations and helped make a difference uh, in other scenarios such as uh, the MAC Fund and right. things of that nature. You also even dealt with bullying up. Leave. Yeah, you know, when we first came up with this idea, it was we were going to stand up to cancer, we were going to stand up to hunger, and we were going to stand up to bullies, mm -hmm. and we're really excited that this year we're fulfilling that vision. And what's really unique about Laugh It Up Milwaukee is we've really connected with the community in a way in which actually there's about um, seven or eight different organizations that will end up benefiting from the program. And if you have made the benefits list in the years past, you continue to. Um, oh. Thousands of dollars will go to the MAC Fund, thousands of dollars will go to the Act Now Anti bullying and tolerance education program at Children's Hospital Wisconsin and thousands of dollars will also help in continuing to focus on standing up to cancer. So we also then allow the major ben, um, major sp uh, sponsors for the event to pick projects that are important to them. Donors Forum of Wisconsin, the Ability Center. Uh, there have been a number of other beneficiaries where the sponsors give the bulk of their money to that year's uh, basically the, the purpose for why we do it, but also things that they personally care about. So that's what's really working. This power of getting together and partnering and having an impact is what this is all about. And, and we hope uh, that people are gonna wanna join us on Saturday, January 31st to come laugh along with Howie Mandel. Right there at the Riverside Theater in downtown Milwaukee. And you never fail to bring uh, some of the biggest names in <laughs> comedy. And this year's no different, as you just said, Howie Mandel, uh, his resume speaks for itself. We've got a uh, successful comic. He's done a lot of the comic relief. Right. Uh, I was looking at some old uh, footage where um, it was um, the, our, the, the, the comic that we just lost. Um, help me out. It'll come to me. Um, I can't Robin remember. Robin Williams. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> 
like we have sadly. the same last name. Right. Yes, sadly, Robin <laughs> Williams. But it does bring back uh, the great memories that were made back then uh, when they all came together to help make a difference. Well, that's part of what is always the interesting part of my job every year is how do you find a comedian that everyone's going to want to come and see, but what most people don't realize is that they're coming because what we're doing speaks to them. You know, we had Seth Meyers our first year. Mm -hmm. uh, we got him just before he moved to the, sh the late night show. And uh, at the end of the event, he came backstage, gave me a hug and said, I I've never been a part of something like this and proceeded to hand us a check for $5,000. Wow. I mean, these are wonderful people realizing that they're blessed with the job that they get to do. And, and just like Comic Relief, the, the ability to land a comedian that everyone wants to see who actually has philanthropy in them. And Howie Mandel is very focused on social justice. Mm -hmm. So the idea that we're gonna be trying to solve hunger is inspiring to him and therefore he doesn't charge us as much money to come here. <laughs> now granted, you know, you call these people, make sure they're available and you pay them, that's how you get them. Yeah. But really in, in uh, recognition of Martin Short who had lost his wife to cancer and so when we were raising money for childhood cancer, it, it was a, of course I'll be there. And same thing with Howie and same thing with Seth Meyers. These are amazing people who realize their lives are blessed and are passing that blessing along. You can say that again. And Howie is also, uh, he's a judge on NBC's America's Got Talent, mm -hmm. a long list of network and cable specials, and he's been doing comedy for over 30 years, so he may even bring back some, uh, I guess we can call it um, some old school jokes that people know and love. We hope so. I, I'm hoping we'll get an appearance of Bobby, uh, one of his <laughs> right. great stand-up comedy routines, which then turned into a children's cartoon. Yeah. Yes. And uh, I've actually been practicing blowing up surgical gloves on the top of my head uh, to get ready for him because I'm really hoping he's going to bring that back. It's uh, one of my all-time favorite bits. I know. You were telling me before we started filming that you're able to uh, blow up a glove on your head. So yeah. I'm sure all of the people that know and love you <laughs> would like to see that. This goes perfectly with the president and CEO title. is capable of blowing up a surgical glove with my nose. Oh, shoot. Sure. Yeah. And so when you talk about... Uh, uh, this particular event, Laugh It Up Milwaukee, I think that it's safe to say that the ticket prices are reasonable for so. seeing someone of this magnitude. So where can people go for ticket information? Well, it's really easy, www.laughitupmilwaukee.org. All of the information is available. There's ticket prices at three different levels. Mm -hmm. And uh, recognizing that uh, it's about the price point that it would be to go to any of these, but recognizing that the bulk of the money is going to go on to um, really solve this problem. Uh, all of this money, besides our past beneficiaries, is going to be going to not only the Hunger Task Force, but because the JCC is a pantry within their network, 100% of those proceeds are going to solve hunger this year. And it's and really exciting for us to partner. They were actually, um, our committee had just selected Hunger Task Force as our partner of the year in 2014. Oh. And so there's just very little question that what the Hunger Task Force does is amazing, inspiring people to try and create a healthier Milwaukee. Yeah, I agree with you completely. And we will find out more about the Hunger Task Force in the uh, second segment of today's show. I do want to talk about the title sponsor uh, of Laugh It Up Milwaukee because they really do a lot of outstanding things to help make a difference in the community as well and it's the Bayshore Community Foundation so if you would uh, kind of fill in our viewers at home of some of the things that uh, they do and how they, meaning the viewer, probably has helped make a difference and not known. <laughs> right, exactly. You know part of what the JCC does is we try and meet our members where they are both in the time in life and what may be meeting, but also physically where they are. Mm -hmm. And with the JCC being in Whitefish Bay and, and Bayshore Town Center being around the corner, um, we connected with Bayshore Town Center and most people are really frustrated to drop quarters in a parking meter. <laughs> I know I am, um, but at Bayshore what's amazing is 100% of those dollars tend to go out into non-for-profit institutions. Mm. So we came up with this idea of how do we use the community's money to invest and then raise even more money. So the investment from each of us that are either paying those annoying parking tickets in Bayshore <laughs> or dropping a dollar's worth of quarters in are actually what are starting the funding to be able to raise 
what we hope to be a quarter of a million dollars on January 31st. So it's really showing that when we partner, not just institutions, but our own community, you drop a quarter in and you start this action. You start there being the foundation at Bayshore. Bayshore gives the money to JCC. JCC partners with Hunger Task Force. We go out and raise even more money. And it really does come down to the fact that whether it's dropping off a can of food at a food drive, which just completed, or dropping a quarter in a parking meter, each one of us can make a difference in our own community. That's what it's all about. So it is the Change for Charity Meter program. Mm -hmm. So people should keep in mind when they're shopping at Bayshore, they are not only uh, finding all the great things that they may have in mind, uh, but they're also helping make a difference when they put money in that meter. So. Yeah, and, and there are great corporate sponsors that are also helping us out in this. It's not just Bayshore. Mm -hmm. Whether it's Built Right Furniture or Capco, the amazing support from the Daniel M. Sorf Charitable Trust, Ateed Properties, David Gruber, uh, Senior Helpers. We have a, a tremendous number of people in our community who see this power of partnership really meaning something to them mm -hmm. and then getting behind it even more. Yep, and that's what it's all about. You said uh, partnering with people who can help make change, and that's exactly what all of you are doing when you come together to make Laugh It Up Milwaukee possible. So uh, let's talk about the JCC and what you offer to the public. Uh, what exact? Where are you located in Whitefish Bay? We're at 6255 North Santa Monica Boulevard, but that's only one of the seven sites that we actually operate oh, really? out through the state. We run an overnight summer camp in Eagle River. We run a day camp in Fredonia. We have an early childhood satellite site in Mequon, a seven acre outdoor water wow. park. <laughs> we have our pantry, we have our partnership with Bayshore, and then our 150,000 square foot campus in Whitefish Bay. You know, it's really difficult when you run 18 different businesses, seven different sites, how do you wrap it all up into 30 seconds? And the answer is, we really focus what we do on education, on wellness, and on community. Mm -hmm. And everything we do bubbles into that, whether it's our satellite early childhood site or our 200 plus kids that are served every day at the JCC mm -hmm. or our 50,000 square foot state-of-the-art fitness center, our camping programs. Everything that we do really is about educating our community, about creating a whole sense of wellness and then those combined create the very community that we want. Yes, and you have something under the umbrella of education. It's called STARS, students that are really special. Mm -hmm. And I just like the concept of that. So uh, how do kids get involved with this particular program? Well, all you need to do is go to jccmilwaukee.org, take a look at the website. STARS is our commitment, along with a number of our other programs, to recognizing that special needs participants have the exact same needs as mainstream kids. Recreation, they have an opportunity to build community, not only for our kids, but for our adults. We focus so much on the formal education that the JCC created a program to focus on the informal education mm. of just getting along, of building friends, of being there to recognize that playing basketball or working out or just being together as a community is important. And uh, we actually created our own service gap by serving a younger population that loved it so much they got older we didn't really have anywhere to go. Ah. Or our day camp did so well during the eight weeks, what about the other 44 weeks? And so a number of funders have come together to create STARS and it is our largest growing and most popular program for special needs. Well, needless to say, you guys are doing a lot of great things at the JCC. Thanks. And uh, quickly, let's just go over those details for Laugh It Up Milwaukee 2015. Saturday night, January 31st at the Riverside Theater, Howie Mandel. Uh, the easiest way to get information about it is www.laughitupmilwaukee.org. Thank you so much, Mark, for coming by and it's looking to forward to uh, uh, checking out the show and seeing all the great things that take place that night. Thank you so much. It's always a pleasure. Mark Shapiro is the president and CEO of the Harry and Rose Sampson Family Jewish Community Center. You can log on to jccmilwaukee.org for more information on anything that we've discussed today or call 414-967-967. 8200. When we return to Our Issues Milwaukee, we'll continue our conversation about the JCC's Laugh It Up Milwaukee 2015 event when we talk to a representative from their signature partner, the Hunger Task Force, and we'll do that right after this.